The balloon was first spotted over Montana near one of America's three nuclear missile silo fields, but was shot down off the coast of South Carolina after days of drifting. Uh, joining us now is Congressman Mike Quigley. He was on the Intelligence Committee. Thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning. Can you explain why it seemed to take so long for us to be aware that this balloon was over our airspace? Well, I think they knew where it was. Uh, you know, and this has happened before. There, there's been uh, Chinese balloons over U.S. airspace before. The question is, how do you react? And uh, what they did was probably just the right thing. Uh, mitigate its impact because of what you can do on the ground uh, and surveil it. And then when it's not over populated areas of the ocean, you, you shoot it down, which is exactly what they did. A lot of people feel like the response might have been too delayed. Were they gathering too much information in the meantime? Do you have to weigh that over the safety issue? Should something have been done sooner? I think you weigh safety first. Let's put this in perspective. There are uh, low Earth orbit satellites from countries like China going over the same area on an almost hourly basis. Uh, so, look, a balloon like this, and we're learning, hopefully, with the collection, that it seemed to have some unique abilities to hover and to navigate. Uh, so we'll learn about that. Uh, and they may have better resolution, but it. I, I think the bigger issue here is this doesn't make sense for two reasons. Both countries are trying to normalize relations. The presidents meet. That's a big deal, and they meet for a reason. Secretary Blinken is meeting with his counterpart eventually. Now it's postponed. Uh, this is a, a violation of U.S. sovereignty. And at the same time, most of your spine, you'd like to do sort of cloak and dagger covertly. This is with a brass band going down <laughs> Main Street. It just doesn't make any sense. And you almost have to wonder if this is perhaps the hardliners in China forcing their president's hand uh, to push the nations apart, something we don't need. Hmm. And, and while it had people, I think, unsettled because you could visually see it, would you say that cyber crime uh, from uh, or cyber spying from China is far more serious and damaging? Oh, well, look, I, I don't want to judge which one's more serious, but you're you're on to an excellent point. Uh, cyber crimes, the theft of U.S. intellectual property that's used for their economic growth or their military uh, growth, that's extremely serious. In Chicago, in January, a graduate student was sentenced to a, a long jail sentence for spying uh, on our academic institutions in Chicago. They're after scientific and technical research materials to, again, grow their economy and make their military stronger. So your point is right on. We should be concerned about what the Chinese are doing but the balloon is disproportionately seen as the most important thing. The fact that most Americans don't even know their satellites up there, I get that. But we need to have some perspective on this, uh, and we need to address this um, clearly with um, negotiations and discussions, diplomacy, because th there really isn't an alternative right now. All right, Congressman Quigley, thank you for joining us this morning. Anytime. Thank, thank you. you, Congressman. Hey, Paul. Hi, guys.